Hello guys, it has been a while that we had this kind of setup, the chit chat kind of setup. And here I am um, at the end of the year. And I believe this is the only video I have. I will be putting out this December. Just really wanted to have this last video for 2022 and that will serve as a sort of reflection on what the year um, has been and also to set some plans or goals for the following year. That in 2022, we really transitioned into that new normal. So apart from that new normal that we were used to during the pandemic, which we social distance, this new normal allowed us to be able to find our way on how we would get back on our feet and um, go to work or for some students go back to school to, to that face-to-face -face kind of thing. And in this 2022, for myself or for me personally, it has been kind of a roller coaster ride. There were lots of highs and there were lots of lows and those lows were mostly um, about me doubting myself. I am going to uh, have a bit of a reflection on the best things that happened to me in 2022. After the pandemic or when the pandemic hit, I wasn't able to go home for three years because the last time I was able to go home was 2018. And finally, last September of this year, I was able to go home to see my family and friends back home in the Philippines and to be able to bond with my parents and to have that chance to enjoy with your family, with your mama, with your mom, papa. And yes, that's what we've all learned in this pandemic that we should value those simple things that uh, we just take for granted before, um, especially those times that we spend with our families. And the other thing that I feel like I have been triumphant about and I'm very much happy that I was able to take is that to take that leap of faith to get out of my comfort zone in terms of my career for the past like nine almost ten years in the UK I have been working in one hospital and the bulk of that is um, I have spent in recovery and I am very much thankful of course for the growth the, the knowledge the skills that I was able to develop whilst I was in recovery Basically, who I am as a nurse is basically formed by the experiences that I have or that I had in recovery. And I'm also very much thankful with the friends, with the relationships I've built with my uh, colleagues in recovery. They were colleagues turned friends and turned to family. And I will forever cherish and give importance to that relationship that I have built with them. What I am just very much glad is that I had that sometimes in life we tend to stay where we're comfortable and i am very much glad to take that step to know what is beyond the comfort zone that i have and uh, at that time that i took that decision i was ready to embrace the new career that i will have and at the same time i was ready to find ways if ever things wouldn't work and i am very much committed to that plan and here i am currently I'm trying, it's not perfect. I am still finding my way into this new career, into this new path that I am taking. My greatest learning is really don't be afraid to take that leap of faith, to, to, to get out of your comfort zone as, as, as long as you know that there are always two things that might happen. First is you're ready to really put your heart out to, to, to work hard in that new career. And second is to get ready to know how to pivot if ever things wouldn't work out. Just a little a little learning that I had as well. And um, third, I am able to uh, try my little baby steps into being fit again. But from the start of the pandemic until now, I haven't been very healthy. In fact, this has been the the biggest weight gain that I had um, since I moved to UK. I am able to manage to get back into fitness. So now since October, I was able to really get onto the treadmill at least 30 minutes from Mondays to Fridays and weekends would be my rest day. Um, I am hoping that I would get back to hit um, high intensity training, which I really enjoy doing and to really get back into shape and yes, 
I am just looking forward to really have that commitment and to really get back into shape now. I want to be healthy. I want to I wanna, um, look good. And besides looking good is just to really feel healthy. And I want to really just feel free to be able to do the things that I want and to do the things that I enjoy without being breathless or things like that. So yes, exercising and being able to get back even though it's just baby steps or little steps for me to be back to exercising again and to be fit. So I'm, and the fourth one I think is I am really more focusing into introspection and to knowing myself more, my, uh, knowing my abilities and as well as um, being aware of my flaws and able to work with it. And just to really be in touch with the now, be present and being able to let go of the regrets, the worries that I have in the past. And at the same time, the worries that I have regarding on what will happen in the future. Um, I will try to work on. I'm just at the start of that journey on really, really being present and enjoying the now more than anything else. So yes, so I'm happy that I'm taking that journey this year as well. And I think the last, but I think the greatest um, thing that I have achieved, na very tangible, is is having a home, a flat to live in, a flat that I will I can call my own. And um, that has been the fruit of, of of the hard work through the years. I really don't know how I was able to get to this point, but I'm just very much thankful to have this blessing. And to, I think that the past past year I haven't been traveling at all. I haven't been going to places, but I I think one contributing factor is also I am also enjoying the flat, the home that I have. Uh, to being at home for me, it's so relaxing. It's really, I'm really at my, I, I'm really feeling at home. And if I am at home, I feel like. I am complete. I feel like I don't need to go out to enjoy. If there's anything I've learned about that, it's just to always dream the biggest dream possible. You never know that um, maybe the dream that you once dreamt will become a reality and you'll be living that dream. As long as you have that childlike faith in you um, and trust the Lord and as well as you know how to work hard, then nothing is impossible really. So those are the five things that I am very much grateful for this 2022. And for the things that I am looking forward in this new year, uh, first is definitely I want to travel again. I want to experience that adrenaline rush, that, that fun, that, that excitement that I always have in me when I go to a new country to discover new things, to experience new things. And I think that through traveling, I'm able to learn and to grow and as a person, as an individual. And of course, I could learn from the culture as well and be able to appreciate the beauty that we have been given, the beauty of this world, right? And yes, the second thing is I want to be more financially stable and more financially smart. Um, I just want that I would be able to find ways to have other ways or other sources of income or cash flow um, just not just my salary i could be able to share it to to my family and to the people that i could support and help as well at, at the same time and third is definitely continue building good relationships with the people that i love to find ways to show them how i appreciate them and how important they are to me and um, that is definitely what I would like to cultivate more, the relationship I have with the people that I love the most. Fourth is definitely working on my YouTube channel. I hope that I would be able to be more motivated and I'll be more creative in being able to uh, make videos that you would all be able to relate and have fun with. And uh, yeah, so I hope that we could grow. I hope that we could also grow um, here in my little YouTube community and just really have fun and be able to one way or another inspire um, you guys as well um, or be able to share something to you guys. And the fifth is definitely be able to continue to to focus on building my who I am, getting to know myself even more, um, knowing 
my strengths and working on my weaknesses. Those are the things that I am very much thankful for. The sun is up now and the lighting is messed up so I don't know the result of this. Um, that Those are the things that I enjoyed the most in 2022 and the things that I'm looking forward to do in 2023. I hope you guys have enjoyed your Christmas with your family and in whatever way you, you um, celebrated Christmas. I hope you had fun and enjoy the rest of your holidays and of course I'm, I'm wishing everybody a prosperous 2023 more blessings and a good health for each and everyone this coming new year so this has been chico and you are in my chico local world where i go local with anything that's good and positive see you in 2023 bye